Hello, welcome to October's Members Hunt. Um, we've still got uh, rolls left on the Mom and Pop Pity Box. We're going to work on those. we got 15 rolls left. I'm going to do five here. We've been through 35 rolls. This is our finds. Um, some really cool stuff. we got some Indian head scents. I'm not going to go through everything because the list is getting long. So we got Indian head scents. we got some silver dimes, some Canadian silver um, some four ends, a night in 1881 silver Canadian five cent piece, which is I think so far the best find of the hunt. Got all kinds of wheats, um, some still cents, uh, some BU pennies and stuff. So yeah, some really cool stuff if you want to. Here's with the BU wheats. Um, my writing is not the best, but that is what we have. If you'd like to pause and read through that, go for it. Um, and I'll break down everything at the end when we get to the end of the box. Um, so, um, we're going to do five rolls today. We got 10 rolls left after this. So this will be definitely some fun stuff in here, hopefully. And, uh, yeah, two, two more videos after this one and I'll be done with the box. And, oh, I'm, I'm wishing I had more of these rolls after that. <laughs> All right, well, let's get into these rolls and see what is in here. Intro, take 473. Q music. Q coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. Okay. So things have been a little crazy around here lately. Or else I would have got this uh, out a little bit sooner this month. Um, I mean, we're only halfway through the month, but still, um, we are uh, a little bit further in than I wanted to be for this, and I'm kind of squeezing this in to get it out. Um, two memorials on the end of this roll. Let's see what's on the inside. I see some wheats here. So yeah, all right. So just like the other hunts, we're gonna just oop, I'm open the camera. Uh, I'm gonna just flip through this. There's another BU60 out of Denver there. Nice, that's a 60 out of Denver. We're gonna check that for um, any errors and stuff. And let me just make sure I'm on the camera. All right, first wheat, 1951 out of Denver. Woohoo, wheat scent there i'm just going to quickly look through these and uh share the wheat scents oh this one has somebody try to cut it 1935 how about that that is a 30s wheat scent somebody took some tin snips and tried to cut that penny it looks like oh next wheat scent right behind it 1958 nice 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 uh, is this wheat scent yep 1957 out of denver awesome Hopefully everything's on the camera still. I'm trying to keep it on the camera. There's all kinds of varieties I'm going to look for. Ooh, we got a worn one here. Ah, it's 1940 San Francisco. Very cool. Getting that San Francisco. I don't get many San Franciscos around here. We got another 1961. It is redder, but it does have some surface spotting on it, unfortunately. Oh, we got a BU. Red, I don't know if it's BU, but we do have a red, it's got some surface spotting on it, but red, red, 1954. That is a nice red scent with some carbon spotting on it, unfortunately. Otherwise, that would be a nice blazing red scent, but still, that is a nice red wheat scent. That is awesome. All right, anything else here? It looks like we got a couple here, 1952 S, and then 1958 out of Denver. Very cool. And this might be the last week sent in this roll, 1958 out of Denver. Man, nice wheat scents in the rolls. Yep, that is all for the wheat scents in this roll. Looks like we have, what, two, four, six, eight, nine. Nine wheat cents in this roll. All right, well, let me check these for any airs, varieties, and what have you, and uh, we'll get these put up out of the way, and we'll get into the next roll. 
Okay, so other than the nine wheat cents and the uh, nice uh, red 69, uh, 60 Denver. Okay, other than the nine wheat cents and the nice red one there um, in that one roll, uh, there were no other finds in, in these uh, that roll here. Let's see, we got two memorial enders in these rolls, but I'm sure there is some things, and I think I think we got another wheat uh, still sent here. I think we got another still sent here. Let's move it over. We'll zoom in. All right, I got this magnet here. We have a still scent. Nice, this one is a little worse for wear, but we have a 1943 out of Denver. And it's got that, uh, where the zinc has been just kind of cor uh, corroded or oxidized off or, or whatever. I do know the um, zinc uh, does not last long in the oxygen air there so let's um let's take a look at this one this one you can tell this one's uh, rough 2009 that one is rough that one went through something uh, but let's break down these wheat scents as we go through the roll and see what else we see 1942 sweet scent here 1951 nice so far this roll i know we have a, a canadian i've seen it but we'll get to that here in a second 1958 out of Denver. Okay, I thought I saw something on there, but I'm not seeing it there. Another nice red 1960 out of Denver. Let's set that over here. Let's see, 1951. And another 1951. This one's more of a red brown instead of brown. So that's nice. And then we got our first Canadian, 1980, 1980. All right, 1980 is our Canadian so far of the roll. All right, not seeing any other wheat scents in these, so let's just move those out of the way. This one looks like a wheat heavy roll. And this wheat set, 1955 out of Denver. All right, there's another. 2005. Let's see. Wheat set 1956 out of Denver. That's a decent 2004 out of Denver. That's not perfect. It's got some problems, but let's see. 1941. All right, let's get the rest of these on the camera here. And let's just get through the rest of this. It's a sweet set. 1947. Yep. 1947. San Francisco, it looks like. Yep. 1947 out of San Francisco. And then we have a 1952 out of San Francisco. Um, and this looks like our last wheat of this roll. 1953 out of San Francisco. Very cool. All right, so we'll see what else is going on with these. Um, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve wheat cents. One of them being a still cent and uh, one Canadian. Nice. All right. Let me get the stuff sorted through, cleaned up, and uh, we'll be right back with the next roll. Okay, second roll done. Uh, other than the wheats and the Canadian, still sent. Um, no other fines, no varieties or anything in the rolls. But we will move on to the next roll. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. If I can get into the roll. Um, it's a very corroded memorial set. But it does look like we got some more wheats here. Um, but yeah, that is a very corroded memorial set. I don't know if I'm going to do anything with that one. It's so destroyed. There's probably nothing that can be done. Alright, so let's take a look at these wheats. Zoom in a little bit. Nah. 
Hopefully we'll keep them on camera. 44, there are some varieties to look for on 44, so I will check for those. Um, checking all the wheat scents for varieties and errors and such, as well as the other coins. That's a 58 out of Denver. Um, next one is a 1941 out of Philly. So far, nothing, nothing stands has been um, standing out as any type of errors or varieties or anything like that. Um, let's see. Let's check out the wheat scents. 44s, 44 out of San Francisco. Next group of scents here. Let's get through these. A 51 out of San Francisco. There. We got back-to-back -back wheats, back-to-back -back wheats, and 1951 out of Denver, and a 55, 1955 out of Philly. Nice, nice. Well, these rolls so far have had plenty of wheats, so that is really cool. 1944s, and then 1957 out of Denver. So far, I think the oldest is a 35 we've found in these rolls. That one is a tore up memorial. Let's get those last few on the camera. There's a 99, uh, 2009. 58 out of Denver. And that is it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve weed suds in that roll. Oh, there's one more over here. 13, 1953 out of San Francisco. 13 wheats in this roll. Boom, how about that? Okay, all right. Well, we'll be back with the next roll and anything, if there's any flies in here, I'll let you know. Okay, so just the wheat cents in that roll. Two more rolls left. Let's see what else we see in these rolls. Um, wheat scent heavy these rolls have been. That is cool. Finding a bunch of wheats is awesome. Um, although, I will say after hunting through these rolls, uh, hunting through regular uh, rolls from today's uh, bank is definitely um, <laughs> harder to do. All right, we have some wheat scent here to look through. I'm not seeing anything else standing out. Other than some wheats here. Um, so first, is that a wheat? 1959. Nope, that is the last date. Uh, it's the first date of the memorials. 1952 out of Denver. Let's see, what else do we have in here? It's a 64. We'll check that for a double die. 96. Oh, I was just talking about how... Wheat scents, how full these were of wheat scents. That's their first um, actual nice 2009. It's not got some issues, surface issues, but uh, nicest one so far. 1949 out of Denver. All right. Another wheat scent here. 1947 San Francisco there. And another wheat scent. 1950 San Francisco. And what looks like our last wheat scent in this roll is a 1944 out of Philly. All right, so looks like five wheat scents in these roll here. Um, but yeah. All right, well, let me get through these and uh, we'll see what else we got. We got one roll left and we'll see how many wheat scents we end up with. We already got a ton and a uh, ton of wheat scents out of five rolls is uh, awesome. Okay, so nothing else in the rest of those scents. Let's get into this last roll and see what we got. Um, yeah, so far, wheat scent heavy. Heavy wheat scents in a lot of these rolls. The last one was a little light, but still, we've got probably about 30 wheat scents here. Easily. And we had some pretty cool finds as well. Let's see what is in this final roll. We've seen some wheat scents here. So let's slide this over. We'll zoom in. 
and see what we got for wheat cents in this roll. First one is a 1945 San Francisco. We got one here. This one is a little worn. Is this an older one? Could it be an older one? Let's find out how old it is. Oh, 1925 S. That's a 20. That's a 20 sweet cent with a mint mark. Nice, 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 nice. I don't see many uh, 20 sweet cents with mint marks, so that is nice find. Oh, we got a 55 Denver. Nice shiny blazing red scent. Not perfect, but that is a really nice, nice sweet scent. You just don't find them like that every day. You don't find a nice blazing scent like that. 1956 out of Denver. There's um, a pretty nice 1965. There was no mint marks on any coins in 65. 65, 66, and 67. Um, that one does have some surface issues, unfortunately. Let's get these on the camera. But yeah, 1955, 56, 57, no mint marks. Um, even though they were produced at Denver and Philly, um, well, we don't know which coin was produced where. Um, I can only assume the nicer ones came from Denver. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Next wheat set is a 45. All right, what else do we have in here? Is that the last week set? Oh, no, nope. this one might be the last week set. Rough 1957 out of Denver. Ooh, that one is rough. And then finishing up the roll, we got a really nice 2009 out of Denver. There. Um, you did see some spots on it, but uh, it's nice to see a nice red one of those. I don't get many red, uh, nice condition 2009s and any of the rolls I hunt through. So, um, nice seeing those. All right. So two, four, six, six, seven wheat cents. One of them being a nice blazing red, um, 55. So cool. Looks like this, uh, these five rolls were just, uh, heavy wheats. Uh, only one Canadian, but let me get through these and then uh, I'll give you a count on everything here All right, well time to wrap up here on these five rolls. I've got ten rolls left after this So hopefully we'll see what else we get in those last ten rolls over the next two months um, And then we're gonna figure out what I'm gonna be doing for the members hunts here uh, so stay tuned for those but uh, yes, we have a ton of wheats. Uh, these rolls did not disappoint on the wheats and it's always fun to find a bunch of wheats and go through the wheats and see what we got on these. Um, we ended up with 30 from the 50s. So 50s won this, uh, these five rolls. Uh, 1540s won 30, which is a 35, and then a 25S. We're one date, if it was a 26S, that would have been a semi-key date. Or 24D, that would have been a semi-key date, but it was 25S. It was right in the middle, and uh, yeah, so, but still, 25S is our oldest wheat scent we found, so that is cool. We did hit the one uh, still scent, one Canadian, and we got two nice red wheat scents, uh, 54 Denver and a 55 Denver. All right, well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up, helps me out, drop a comment down below, let me know what you thought. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support. Well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you click on that link right there, it'll help me out. And then I have a couple videos over here that is recommended. So if you would like to watch another one, I would definitely appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day.